<laughs> a mysterious line of turkey legs. <laughs> Guess some birthday wishes do come true. <laughs> You're evil. No, I'm testing one of my traps before the clan war. That's not evil, it's science. <laughs> well, at least he ate before his flight. And you guys just saw a preview of season two of Clasherama. I'm Darian Vorlick, today is with me. Sip from Clash Universe? <laughs> That's what I, yeah. I, I, I worked on both dude. games. I've worked on Royale and Clash of Clans, so I'm in the universe now. And but, today we're joined by the writers yes, of Clash Yes, very Rama. special guests. Hey. The writers of Clash of Rama. A couple yeah. of the writers, the good ones. Yeah. Yeah. The better ones. <laughs> the, the best ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Choice select. So why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Uh, my name is Michael Drake. I'm a writer on Clash of Rama and of the Clash Universe, I guess. Yes, and I'm Tom Martin, and I'm a writer, but I'm also the executive producer. Oh. <laughs> executive producer. <laughs> we got the executive producer. We're in the presence of greatness today. <laughs> I don't know if you can Chiron on that all in. <laughs> Whatever. How did this whole process begin? How did Clash Rama begin? I think um, the production company called uh, Tolerable Entertainment sent a letter to Supercell. It said, hey, we'd like to make a animated TV show out of Clash of Clans. Would you be interested? Like, this is a total cold call. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. And so they started deciding what it should be. And then they got into the production. They got, uh, we got some, the best actors and some decent writers. And uh, we just started uh, making them. So, what, so what, I guess, what's the writing process like? Because, you know, the Clash IP, both Clash Royale and Clash of Clans, have a very specific flair and flavor to it. Mm -hmm. So, Given that it's an animated series, like how, how, what's the design process and script writing process for this like? Um, well, I think what we do is we first, all the writers, uh, we pitch ideas, and then we get them approved by the Supercell. They'll like either shoot it down or like not have to shoot it down and go like, man, like, all right, not that one, that's fine. Ooh, and then I they'll like. like something. So once we get the idea, then we write an outline and then they'll comment on that. And most of their comments are really good. They very, very seldom say, I, we just don't think this is funny. But they did once. <laughs> so season two is coming out. How does it differ from season one? What, what can we expect? Well, I think that the characters started to get more and more developed uh, at the end of season one. For example, there was a lot of positive response from Jack, the, the wizard. And so... He's kind of a breakout character. By the end of season two, uh, we have enough developed characters and enough background that we find we're just telling uh, a real story. And then for season three, we're doing like 22-minute uh, episodes. Yeah. Of so like full-length wow. full full length length episodes. Yeah. Yes. It's turning into a real show. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's exciting. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. How much time do the writers spend playing the game? Way too much. Yeah, way too much. It's, it's six bad. hours a yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. Normal. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. We're running like multiple clans or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Up till three in the morning. Uh, you know, yeah. it's healthy. Yeah. <laughs> well. But it does give you an excuse um, if my wife gives me a look because I'm playing. It's like, it's part of work. <laughs> yeah. This is work. I'm working here. <laughs> uh, I don't have a wife, and the game might be keeping me from <laughs> dating. So, yeah, it's a different yeah. approach to yeah. Yeah, what's happening. Two sides of the same coin. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what's the process like uh, when you're recording an episode? How does it just break it down for me? Okay, so once we have an approved script, they schedule the actors, and they sh then we, the two of us, direct the voice records too, which we'll usually do one actor at a time, even though sometimes it's more fun if you can get all the actors together. You just move faster if you have one actor at a time. So let's say Tom Kenny My very first tournament. is one of our best actors. He's known for Spongebob, but also does a million other voices. Wow. He's in yeah. almost every animated yeah. show. But he'll read the script. He'll do like two takes as written, and then he'll start playing with it. He'll like flip the words. He'll bring more personality to it sometimes, and sometimes we'll use it, and sometimes we won't. Does that affect the animation process as well? Not really, because 
they take the radio play, the audio track, and then they send it to Rough Draft Studios, the animation company. So they listen to it and they time it out. And then before they start animation, they'll say, you got to cut three minutes out of this. And I'm like, ugh, again. Mm -hmm. So then we cut some of our favorite jokes. We get a really rough black and white uh, animatic. Then we'll know which jokes don't make sense or what parts of the story doesn't make sense. And we will adjust the script and we'll get Tom Kenny and the rest of the actors back in to do lines to help make the story make sense or to address notes from uh, Supercell like uh, our characters would never do this. So we see the color draft and by then it's pretty much to time. And then it goes to uh, the music guy Dave Pellman and, uh, and the sound effects. That's another one of, you're an expert at all the sound effects, the game things. And I have to go back into the game and like really test to see that we have the right <laughs> explosion sound. We really <laughs> wanted to match the game as much as we can. <laughs> So as YouTube will tell you guys, uh, this season is taking way longer than the first one. What happened? Uh, we're sorry. Uh, that's all <laughs> we could say. That's, yeah, that's we're just sip, no, I, we're no sorry. further explanation yeah. needed. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube will understand. Yeah. And these yeah. are just sips comments on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. After the first season ended, that's when we started doing the second season. So obviously there was a sort of a lag time in the creation of the animation. And you can't uh, rush perfection. You can't. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. Yeah. We were hoping we could be in season four. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we brought in the deleted a, scenes. We brought a scene, a script from episode two oh six. So in, in the industry, this is what we would call a, for for those who may not be familiar with the terminology. This is what we call a table read. And what exactly goes on in a table read? Well, a table read, it's a chance to hear how uh, the lines sound spoken. It's just a way to see what sounds right to the ear and what makes sense and what doesn't. So it's really helpful. So we have a couple of characters in the scene. We have uh, Ryan, who is the level one giant, and then we have some unnamed level seven giants. So we have two level seven giants, which I'm gonna try to play both of them. Right, and I'll be Ryan. Okay. And you read stage directions. And you read so stage directions. directions, yeah. And you're going to critique? Yeah, I'm or... just going to like take a break, maybe have yeah. some more dessert. <laughs> Play some executive producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Exterior, Clash Village, day. Ooh. This is the village in which Ryan landed on top of the spell factory. Now he looks at another spring trap. Mm. He licks his finger to test the wind. Hope this takes me back to the village. He steps on the spring trap and is launched. Exterior, Upgraded village. Day. Ryan lands. Hard. <laughs> Face planting. He looks up to see a town hall that has a banner reading. Level 11. He sees everything is upgraded to the max. There are fields of flowers, torches, and two of every country's flag. This place is amazing. So upgraded. Just then, three level 7 giants. Beards, metal knuckles, shoulder pads, etc. Walk by. They see Ryan. What are you doing here? You're, like, level one. <laughs> Are you a spy? They approach him, menacingly. Uh, n no. I just took a quick dip in the ocean. I left my jewelry over there. He points to the giant's knuckles and armbands. It's not jewelry. It's battle accessories. Get dressed. You look ridiculous. They both fluff their beards and shine their jewelry before walking <laughs> off. Exterior, upgraded village, day. Ryan stands in front of several other giants. He now wears a makeshift upgraded giant outfit, a fake beard made out of a patch of grass, broken archer's <laughs> arrows for shoulder spikes, barbarian belts for knuckle straps. He's even added some of his own touches, a flag cape and earrings made out of bombs. The giants study him, not convinced at all. Something about this guy doesn't sit right. I got that fighting feeling in my knee. He looks and sees an arrow in his knee. He pulls it out. Yeah. But I was talking about the other knee. Something's fishy. Several of the giants murmur mm, agreement yeah, to this. Yeah, yeah, Getting nervous, yeah. Ryan speaks up. Look, I'm a giant, just like you. Let's stop worrying about what level we are on the outside and upgrade who we are on the inside. Ryan pats his heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those were good agreeing and touch noises. Yeah, they're really good. The giants look at each other and nod. One or two even wipe away a tear. Giant number one comes over and gives Ryan a hug. Thank you for this gift. The gift of your words. When they separate, <laughs> Ryan's wristband comes off. This isn't a wristband, it's seaweed. Seeing it, the other giants gasp. Intruder, get him. Peter's knee is never wrong. 
Ryan gulps as the angry townspeople close in. Mm. End of scene. Wow! Wow. I don't even know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, as we wrap, wrap up here, when can we expect the new episodes of clash Rama to premiere? We can confidently say yes. that season two of clash Rama will be continuing in July of 2018. Woo! Okay. This year. Yeah. It's happening. This it's is 2018, year. right? 2018 okay. is this year. I'm oh, 2019. Yeah. Excitement. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming quick. It's coming fast. It's coming at you. It's clash Rama. Yeah. Be prepared. Yeah, be prepared. Let's get back at you, Rambo! You ready? You ready for ready. this? Ready. Here we All go. Right. Count of three. One, two, three. Oh, I don't like it. No, <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. Wow. Um, I, I don't mind it. Thank you. Why is it? There's, there's layers of bad. What have I done?